Hey folks, have you ever been so afraid of something that you're not sure if you should do it or not? Well, I'm going to show you today that if you are afraid of it, you should probably do it because this kind of intimidates me. And what this is, this is a whole checklist of stuff that needs to be completed in order to build my dome. Now, this is just the beginning, by the way. I have a whole stack of papers this big. Now, ultimately, you, as in the you of the audience, don't usually have to deal with this. You just buy a house or move into an apartment that somebody else took the time to figure out how to do. And for me, I've decided that things cost just a little bit too money in this life. Uh, the price of everything has gone through the roof everything including the materials that i have to buy to build this dome so i've decided that i'm going to build this dome on my own uh, the question is is should i should anyone do something on their own now i chose a dome because for the most part a dome can be done by yourself at least the frame of it can also i've chosen to do hemp surrounding the dome because hemp you can mix it yourself you can pack it and you can frame it out and you can actually build it yourself now i have to learn the steps of what a contractor does of what a developer does and i'm starting this with the county the county provides a pretty good checklist of everything that needs to be done and here in the state of florida they allow homeowners to basically be their own self-contractors doing everything from foundation to electric to plumbing to the building itself you just have to sign over and saying that you take responsibility for it a and b that you will abide by code still so all this is about code so yes even though I'm going to be living off-grid I'm going to be doing everything sustainable I still will do it by cold code because I'm not so far out of the country that the uh, people won't be able to see what's going on in fact uh, the dome is going to be such a new thing for the area that I'm sure it's going to attract a lot of people. So things that I have to learn are foundation. I have to learn how to frame. I have to learn how to uh, do plaster. I'm not doing drywall. I have to do plaster. I have to learn how to make hempcrete, how to pack it. I have to learn how to make this dome strong enough to withstand hurricanes. I've already been talking to an engineer about that and uh, where I need to add pieces and parts. So this is new, exciting times for me. Uh, should I be fearful? No. You take these things that you have a little bit of trepidation about and you make yourself stronger on it. Now, I do know a little bit of carpentry, so it's not like I'm going into this, um, you know, blind. That's just a little bit though. And I'll just admit that right up front. But what I promise to do for everybody is that every inch, every step of the way, I'm going to be filming this and saying, oh, this is what I learned. This is who taught me. And this is how I'm applying it. And I'm going to teach you along the way. Why do I want to do this? Because I want to see if you can make your own dome as well. The good news is, is even if you don't want to, you'll be able to by the time you get done listening to every step of what I've got to do from laying the foundation uh, to putting shingles on and moving the furniture in. Now, the dome itself, the architect is actually starting the renderings uh, this week and he'll be done in about two weeks. I've already been reaching out to the hemp suppliers to start getting my hemp worked out. And I'm working with the port right now to figure out how much I'm going to have to pay in duties uh, to get this thing uh, shipped from overseas. So again, uh, I'm pretty excited, has some trepidation about it, but I'm not going to let it stop me. Mostly because I'm stubborn and mostly because I refuse to pay 
huge prices for other people to do the work for me. Now, there will be some things I know I'm going to have to uh, farm out and let other people do. For instance, the foundation. Foundation, I will set everything. I'll put rebar in. I'll frame it out. Um, but in terms of pouring concrete, I don't have a machine big enough to pour it before it all uh, hardens. So I'm going to have to have a cement truck come out here and guys level it and that type of thing. So there will be some things that I definitely have to do. But like when it came to clearing the land, people wanted to charge me eight to $10,000 to clear my land. One guy even wanted 14 grand to do it. And I was like, not no, but hell no. I never had cleared land before, but I said, yeah, this can't be rocket science. And so I rented a bush hog and uh, a tiller and a few other things. And I cleared the land. Uh, if you see uh, the videos that I did before, you'll see uh, how I did that. 